when nobody is saying anything or contributing as a major instant manager, as the leader, it's absolutely our job to get the conversation flowing, get the technical resolving groups engaged. Hello and welcome. My name is Adam Norman. I'm the CEO here at MIM. MIM delivers our global best practice and IT major instant management training and certification to clients in more than 90 countries around the world. So today I want to talk about something interesting, something that comes up quite a lot as a question when we're delivering training. People will say the leadership and communication skills are great and maximising collaboration between the technical resolving groups is of course a very good thing. But what do they do when nobody is saying anything on a bridge pool, when no one's contributing? And people often find themselves getting stuck with that scenario. So I like to call it when you hear nothing but crickets, as in the insects chirping. It's really interesting that that's even a challenge. So you would think during a major instance that everyone, particularly the technical resolving groups, would want to contribute. But it's, it's far more common than, I, common than people think. I, th I think some of it is when people get stuck, the technical resolving groups. Some of it is from fear or nervousness to contribute. And some of it is assuming the problem or the issue may be sat with one of the other technical resolving groups. So this is only a quick video. I will give you um, a really quick solution to this. Questions are very powerful. They can be used to control bridge calls and conversations and narrative. And when nobody is saying anything or contributing as a major instant manager, as the leader, it's absolutely our job to get the conversation flowing, get the technical resolving groups engaged. One of the ways we can do this is by directly asking questions. Now, I know what a lot of you may think, it's very difficult for me to ask questions when these people have a lot more technical knowledge than I do, it's a challenge. But actually, you don't need to know the complex technical information to do this. Simply go around to the room, name each person, and ask them what they've already looked at and what they can look at next from their subject area. So for example, Jamal, service support, what have you already looked at? What can we be looking at next? Right, excellent. New information, you also have someone talking. Deborah from Exchange, what have you looked at already? What can you look at next? What's been observed? Okay, really simple. Going around the entire room and engaging that, first of all, there will be information. Second of all, it's very hard for people to then not respond or not answer when you are actively naming them and asking them a question on an open bridge call. It's very different from just asking an open question and hoping that someone answers it. It also will stimulate conversation between the technical resolving group members. So it's really useful because let's say Jamal, originally the first person we asked, says something of interest that Deborah from Exchange and so actually, I don't think that's true, and they can start a, a useful dialogue, or actually, we saw this as well. And so it's a way of creating conversation, it's a way of taking control, and it's a way of people not being able to avoid answering you. It's far more difficult for them to avoid. So it's a way to stimulate this collaboration again when nobody is contributing. So a really, really simple one, hopefully a nice quick solution for those of you that are finding this a challenge. Hopefully this will help stimulate conversations on your bridge calls. And if you have any questions, do ask us. We would love to hear them. See you next time.